Hey guys, so I decided to show you guys how to do the the Venetian blinds effect in After Effects last time. So I'm going to show you how to do a similar effect in Vegas. It's not going to look the exact same, but you can get similar um, effects that look like it. Um, there are advantages to doing it in After Effects, but if you can't for some reason, then um, you can do it this way. Um, so there are a few ways to do it. I'll start with the complicated one first. If you want to get a certain Venetian Blinds effect without using AE, um, this would be the best way to do it. It It is time consuming though. Um, what I would do is go to your um, mask. Actually, I'm gonna zoom this one in a little bit to see the difference. Uh, okay, go back here. And, um, first of all, click, um, click on the, um, oval shape, and then press down shift, and then it'll create a, a full circle. Well, before we do anything else, I'm going to fix the bottom track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my magic bullet looks. If you don't have magic bullet looks, that's fine. You can do whatever you want to kind of make the bottom track different than the top track. And then I'm going to put on my preset. Okay. And then going to fix, make it a different color. All right, that's done. All right, so I'm going to set this in the middle. Now for the tricky part, come in back into your mask on the top track and zoom in and go to your rectangle um, mask tool and kind of make tiny I mean I make it as big as you want but I'm gonna make like I'm gonna make it about that size and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the minus or negative make it a negative mask ta da but before we do any of that let's actually hold on let's kind of slant it a little bit and then you're going to duplicate it. I don't know. Make sure this is on all directions and then move it and kind of um, get the same distance. So after you do that, duplicate. And then just keep doing that until it reaches the end of the circle. Duplicate it. Try and get it the same for each one. that you get it right and there is inconsistencies there is so you really have to and I don't like I don't know how to like multi select different masks but yeah so okay make a little one rotate it and 
ones. Do the same thing and like make it look like it. There's like, see, like what I'm doing is I'm trying to duplicate this because you can't get it in any other way. And this is the one that is so tedious that I don't really use it, but it is a way. I usually do it in After Effects, but it is one of the ways you can do it. So, and if you do it this way, you don't have to like repeat it many times. And try to get it as accurate as you can to, yeah. Okay, that's one way to do it. Um, also, you need to probably give it a drop shadow. And if you don't have third-party tech or third-party plugins, you can use layer dimensionality. And then we put the drop shadow. I personally don't like this one. I use um I use a sapphire drop shadow. And then I use one of my presets. And then what else do I need? Oh, um, so I'm going to copy this top track, duplicate it. Alright, what I'm going to do, I'll just copy the freaking mask, keyframe, and then I'm going to put it here, paste, and I'm going to get rid of all the lines. Okay, um, you can get this either if you don't have third part third party plugins, and if you've got Vegas, you probably have Hit Film. So go to Static Lines and add that into the track, and then um, from here put the sharpness down to zero, and then um, frequency just kind of do what you want. No. Okay, and then angle, do whatever you want. You can make it go the same direction as the top layer. If not, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna do it that way. But I'm gonna make this saturation all the way down. And then there you've got your little venation blind parallax effect thing. Um, now if I were in After Effects, I would pre-comp pre this all. Um, in Vegas you can't do that, so you can either um, render this or just leave it the way this is. Um, this is done, you can add text or whatever. Let's see, you can add text. Let's see. Um, Do whatever you want with the text. Um, so, I don't know if you guys know about this, but let's say you add like a See, let's add levels to your text and then kind of, okay, so make it a little darker. Yeah, that's all right. And then go back to your pen and crop and then go to your mask, check it, go to settings, see where it says apply to effects, hit make it yes. And then go back to your mask and then you can make your own personal or personal personalized um light sweep or color sweep whatever you want to call it
and you can make it negative. But yeah, um, can all right, and then kind of just do it you want with it. Okay. Alright, well, I hope this helped. <laughs> um, I don't know if I did a good job in this tutorial. If I did, I'm glad. But yeah, um, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know. I know this wasn't the best tutorial ever, but hey. Um, but yeah. I will see you in the next one.